world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back, me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 47. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth-generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 
1947. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. Forty-seven. Come in. Forty-seven. Do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Seven, use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. The inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. His Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali, I bid you welcome to the city. Hey there, Mister. Okay, right. But what if they get the keys? I, I, excuse me, but it really freaks me out when people stand too close to me. So, I'm 
Listen. I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. You'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. after your tragic loss. Thank you, Lucy. I would love to chat, but... Marcus Stuyvesant was a god to us struggling artists. He is and your general... ...to attract too much attention. Oh, that kind of But I have a meeting. Oh, with who? Can I come? No. It's a private matter. guard assigned a code name Pinky. I got word that he entered the building, but he hasn't reported for duty yet. Probably still down at the depot, getting his uniform. I just hope he's got his papers with him. I heard rumors that he used to work for that Dowwood Rangan. You know, the Bollywood producer who died? Doesn't sound promising. <laughs> nope, it doesn't. Marcus Stuyvesant, Providence partner, self-entitled and arrogant little worm. He might not look like much, but he's done more damage to the world than you can do. Hello? Any update on my replacement guard? We know he has arrived. I'm sure he's just changing into his uniform, and he'll be here very soon. Well, get back to me when he is reported for duty. Remember to check his now papers first. I don't need to waste my What a cow. Waiting for God's sake. I should. Adam White Whiter.
give me a little more room to breathe, please. My tea was lukewarm. It's just a drink. You don't mind, do you? Oh, I really think you are putting on a brave face. You shouldn't be hiding back here. Uh, you should be out there celebrating oh, life. Come on, I hate cleaning oh, artists. Reminds me, I'm supposed to talk to Richard Walter. You know, I'm really frightened of him. His review on the Senses exhibition was brutal. Looking good, but, man. No, Looking I'm good. Buyers. It's a gold mine. You know, Cornelia, I really worry about you. Oh, wow. Oh, do you see that? Oh, just a sec. Out of my way, waiter. Yeah, I'll leave a tip next time. Looking good today, sir.
This is an easy fix. I'm the man. Gods love a fixer. Hey, how are you? Stay safe. Greetings, sir. Oh, sir, we have word that he's arrived. I'm just waiting for him to turn up. Good. Remember to check his papers before you call me. I don't want some snot-nosed newbie. I'll call you as soon as he turns up. Just get him up here. Or I'll make a personal complaint to his royal highness. And you don't want that. Excuse me. I have talked to one of your people inside the exhibition, but I think she is kind of slow. But maybe you can help? Uh, I don't know. I can try. The sun. It's not as bright as it should be. Do you know why? Sorry, I'm just backstage muscle. I don't know anything about the tech stuff. Okay. That doesn't really surprise me. Well, thank you for your help. Have a nice day. Well, same to you, sir. Stop. Let's keep a low profile. Come with me. I got your back, sir.
got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. Hello, sir. Look, it's just a precaution. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zaina Kazim. Sir, I understand. But you can't enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood? Crystal. Can you get out of my face, please? That was a big waste of time. <laughs> Excuse me, but can you please extinguish that cigarette? You are blowing cancer directly into my body. It's a smoking area. If you don't like it, piss off. Jesus, I'm just asking nicely. No, I'm being a bitch. Now go away and binge eat some celery or whatever idiots like you do. Or do something worse than like cancer. That Rangan guy, I mean, never asked me to work for him, never calls me. I put in my CV. Sir, I will have to pat you down if you want to come through. Security measures. Let me just pat you down here. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. No need to panic. and make yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. Thank you.
Let the pros do their job. Mr. Kazim, a pleasure to meet you. Omar tells me great things about you. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer winning freelance journalist. He's good. And won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. Sir, please behave in an orderly fashion. Thank you. Off a little, buddy. You're starting to freak me out. Excuse 
ahead, buddy. I was wondering if you could help me. Upstairs, that is the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali's private penthouse. Am I correct? Her room. Mr. Lucked. I hey, hear bud. you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. Hello there, sir. Better be good. I have a reliable source that the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali is keeping a secret upstairs. You don't talk much, do you? Wait for me here. I'll be back as soon as possible. All right. Whatever it is, better be good. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Greetings, sir. And a good day to you. Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture? Yes. Here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. Right this way, Mr. Kazim. Hi there. How are you, sir? I hope you have had time to see the art exhibition. His Royal Highness has a keen eye for the arts. If you haven't yet, I highly recommend it. like the building? This has been His Royal Highness's dream. I think for even longer than I have known him. Everything is completely self-sufficient. Electricity, internet, even water is cleaned and reused. It's the first of its kind on this scale. It was important for him to look to the future. Mr. Ingram is expecting you. Mr. Cassie, so good to see you. That's yeah, Carl Ingram, keep... Providence partner and brass balled billionaire. A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come. Oh. 
Are you deaf? I'm serious. Yes. Your problem is fixed. Huh. Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Perfect. Perfect. Excuse we me have for a Ingram second. right where we right want back. him. Please make yourself 47, at home. you know what to do. To view. It's something to behold. We got him, 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. Get sidetracked. Mr. Kazem, you need to listen to me. Follow me and don't get sidetracked. That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the constant. Now nah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And... Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look. You don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did... She'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. 
You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough. She came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlyle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlyle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlyle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlyle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlyle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlyle keeps a case file on the constant, information that may be helpful in his recapture, so don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Thornbridge Manor. The Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. This is Echo Mike Charlie. Got a Bravo Foxtrot sneaking around here. Please advise Ricky take over. All right, you. We can all see you.
can't see him. I can't see him. Can anyone see him? Over there! Over there! Right there! Is Alexa Carla, unofficial leader of the Providence Partners, and last one to be alive. That's Madame Carla. Ah, Time to get the fire me. on all the Look, in the corridor! 
What is it? This all confirms that Arthur Edwards stole everything from Madame Carlyle. Perhaps you should let her know how bad it is, 47.
Wait, what? Position. Peculiar icons above the safe. I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. Maybe have a look around the office, 47. Mission complete. Well done, 47.
47. They're everywhere. Go, get out! It's the Constantine! Shit! You gonna take us all on? Don't. Yeah! Tell the Constant to start running! You think you've won? 47 is out there. And 47 never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other. And I meant it. I'll look forward to your call. Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight. What's left now? Stay down! Boss wants you alive. Yeah? How about now? Over here! Cover me! Walk away! <laughs> or what? You gonna take us all on? Don't. Yeah! Tell the Constant to start running! You think you've won? 47 is out there. And 47 never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other. And I meant it. I'll look forward to your call. Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight. What's left now?
We've been compromised. Abort and walk away now. Who? ICA. They tracked me. Don't know how. It's what they do. How many? One prime asset and a whole pack of up-and-comers. They've infiltrated the club searching for us. Christ, I think I killed one of them. Get out now before they spot you. No. They found us once. They'll find us again. <sighs> Keep your head down. I'll take care of this. This is like looking for a needle in a haystack. Just keep trying, Agent Montgomery. Our client considers Agent 47 and Olivia Hall as a serious threat. You can't underestimate them. I never do, Zhao. We'll find them. We're all in position. Good. Report back to me if there's anything. Don't worry. I would love it if you would relax. Hey, you're looking wicked sharp in that suit, but I'm sorry, I can't let you through here. Please vacate the area. A use of deadly force has been authorized. Oh, I love them. I'm sorry, I did not hear what you know me. I, oh. I just uh, start talking to people uh, and then I just... Can I get in? Hmm. Nice suit, sir, yeah. really. But I'm sorry, I can't let you through. You're obviously okay. having trouble with the concept of no trespassing. Bye. Move it! You know who's playing?
There's one here. All quiet so far. Just remember your breathing and stay on task. Agent Swan. Again. Yeah, it's fine. I'm right there. Just waiting to make a little transaction of my own. Yeah, I know. You have your ticket on you? Come on. What's this ticket shit even about? This isn't enough, eh? Hey? No one will do it when the eyes are one. Hey! Hey! Jesus Christ! Hey, just one! There's a second agent down. Are you all sleeping out there? We could not have stacked the deck more in our favor and still... <sighs> This is Davenport. No sign of target. Be careful, or you may not spot him until it's too late. I haven't noticed that. Security guard, hold up. Come on, seriously? Anyone know this guy? Okay, drop it. Shit, help me, please! Someone help me! Davenport, come in. Agent Davenport, are you there? And that makes three. The math was on our side. This shouldn't be happening. Hey! Somebody want to help us out over here? You're not safe here anymore. You should leave. Yeah, I think I understand. Time to step up your game! Holy shit! Nothing here, Command. Need more on. Oh. He's anticipating every move we make. He might be listening in. There's no other explanation for it. Go silent, we can't risk it.
Excuse me. Can I get some help over here, please? There's nothing here. Wake up. We got a situation here.
is on site. Moving in. Go, go. Don't let him slip through your fingers. No games. No cat and mouse. Just get it done. Oh, oh shoot! Locked like two. Where is he? Ah, he's gone! The sneaky bastard is... I got him! Right there! I got my message. Where are you? Diner. Up the main road. On my way. You're hurt. You should see the other guy. Never killed nobody before. What you did back there. You really are all Grace said you'd be. 47. He didn't suffer, did he? He made it count. Bruised, but not broken. Start afresh, you and me. Get to the point. 
You and your friends pulled off the impossible. You stormed the heavens, took down the untouchables, and yet here we are. Status quo. It just goes to show you can't fight power, Miss Burnwood. Power never dies, it only changes hands. The best you can do is claim it. I never cared about power. Power is a tool, Miss Burnwood. It's the thing that gets you to the thing. As the next constant, you can be the agent of change. Transform the system from the inside, or be transformed by it. No risk, no reward. I'll need to think about it. No, you won't. The real question is, what will you bring to the table? Sir. I'm telling you, the file is trash. The Constant doesn't so much burn his bridges as blow them up. Arthur Edwards, whoever he was, don't exist anymore. His personal data somehow deletes itself from any system that records him. Way beyond advanced. The partners spared no expense to make sure their controller would be untraceable. How untraceable? Look. I did what you asked, but Gray's gone and I'm no Diana. I'm not who you need right now. You gotta be kidding me. I see, eh? I used every encryption known to man. Who are these guys? The best. It's only a matter of time before they get lucky. We need to take them down. <sighs> you and which army? I know where the agency stores its files, mission reports, client data. If we leak it to the public. You want to whistleblow the ICA? It's the path of least resistance. Turns out, you are who I need right now, Olivia. I do this, and I'm out. So, what are we breaking into? Data facility in Chongqing, China. Run by a man called Hush. Of course. The ICA site in Chongqing houses the agency's data storage and analyst division. Needless to say, security is daunting. The state-of-the-art server vault is biometrically wired to the facility's two overseers. Imogen Royce, behavioral analysis pioneer, and Hush, a data security guru with a taste for fringe transhuman experimentation. Tell me about Hush. A former cyber terrorist for the Ministry of State Security in Kedan Yang who fled his country after one of the Po regime's periodic purges. He made a career doing cybersecurity for dark web deplorables, human traffickers, organ harvesters, scum like him, with no code or conscience. ICA sure can pick him. No offense. Can you disable security? A dual authentication protocol ensures that any handling of data must be directly authorized by Hush and Royce. The proverbial human factor device to make the system impenetrable. Luckily, I found a loophole. If both overseers should unexpectedly die within a short space of time, the system reverts to a temporary fail-safe protocol, which I can bypass. Take them off the board, and you'll have free access to the data core. And I'll handle the rest. And you're sure it'll work? Look, I know, Hush. If I'm wrong, we won't live long enough to regret it. All right. I will leave you to prepare. Chongqing, China. This city is Big Brother's wet dream with more than 2.5 million cameras covering 15 million people. Privacy is a four-letter word in this place. It's pretty ironic that a cloak and dagger organization like the ICA keeps its most valuable secrets here. You'll find Hush conducting his fringe experiments in an abandoned apartment building. While Imogen Royce, the archivist, runs the day-to-day -day business of the ICA data facility. I just hope you know what you're doing, 47.
shouldn't be out here with a bad influence spinster like me. a homeless woman suddenly jumped up right in front of you. Your hope is always cut what you have to do. You didn't cut like this. I'm sorry, sir. I can't let you through, okay? Please leave the area.
Shit! Is anyone going to help me out here, or what? I don't get the problem. Oh. An awful flash. Jesus Christ! This doesn't look good. How am I supposed to focus when the kitchen feels like a train station? Find your inner then. Oh, no. I'm sorry for oh, you, no, my you friend, don't. But I, I just Drop don't know how the to sword. Deal with something okay. Like that. Oh please. please. I don't need this shit. Give hey. it up. You gotta be kidding! Crap! What's happening? Holy! Do you think they're using more? No, I think. Please behave. I don't know. Everyone gets bored. Ladies and gentlemen, go and go! Welcome. Please follow the grey line for security check. Thank you.
going to help me out here, or what? Initiated. <laughs> Scanning all body systems. Scanning hormonal profile. Scanning chemical profile. Scan complete. Thank you for your patience. Best imaging noise down. Take care of Hush and we can get to the core.
Oh god, in the waiting area. Tap, 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 tap. Whoa, what a shock. Hey, I need some help over here. Look into it.
Both targets down, good. Just give me a second, and I'm in. You can now access the core, 47. Hey, oh God, you're hurt. Okay, this is a bad situation here. Ah, ah.
I'm sealing the room and dimming the windows 47. No need to worry about intruders. It's all here. Clients, operatives, every hit the ICA ever sanctioned. Enough to shut them down for good. But first, you need to locate all files referencing Diana and yourself. I didn't realize that you... I don't know. I get why you want to protect her. So, wipe all the data referring to the two of you from their system before we publish the rest. Okay, good. I've set up a link to an information non-profit site. When you press that button, it's up there and the whole world will know. There's no undo 47. This will shut the ICA down for good. You really okay with this? It's who you've been for so long. Maybe it's time for a change. I'll just return things to normal. No need to alert them we were here prematurely. Shit! I missed that. We're blown, 47. I can hold the doors for a little while. Use the vents to get out. Go! Now! All personnel. Breach protocol initiated. This is bad. That means they'll shoot on sight. I'm gonna create some havoc, 47. Make the core meltdown. Maybe we'll divert their attention a bit. Warning. Core overheating. Warning. Core shut down. Temperature critical. Initiated.
initiated. was tense for his heaven. shell causing shockwaves across the world, the so-called ICA files, the disclosure of a... You win. So, what happens now? The ball's in your court, Miss Burnwood. I do have other candidates, you know, most of whom have never tied me to a chair. You've seen the news. That was 47 acting on his own. He is untethered. He is unstoppable, and he cannot be bargained with. He will find you, Mr. Edwards, and I'm the only chance you've got. I'm listening. 47 has one weakness. Me. something. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Harold. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates and Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constance's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No. You won't. You're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. 
Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Here, I got you an invitation, just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. alone here for what six years ever since the scandal that ruined her career bienvenidos to viñeda yates all right there the invitation please show it to me please thank you huh? okay evening senor I didn't recognize you. Let me sign you in. Luther? Burnwood's flying solo. I want all eyes on. Let's see what she does. And Luther, pre-deploy the birds and key in on the party area. We spread too thin. Too many blind spots. Anyone as much as sneeze in the wrong direction, I want to know about it. They're all done. And I see your tour guide is none other than Gabriel Vargas, this next chief winemaker. Well, this is a rare privilege. You and Don Yates must be very close. Yes, about 400 meters, I should say. Pardon me? Never mind. I'll just wait here for my companion. Carry on. the Burnwood woman. That's right. Yates has arranged for the chief winemaker to take Burnwood and Tamara Vidal on a grand tour of the estate. Wants you to tag along. Not for my sparkling personality. This Burnwood woman sure has his panties in a twist. Wonder what the deal is. Yates' business is his business. Just get yourself ready and sign in with the visitor center. Oh, huh. have a drink on my behalf. I don't drink. Makes me sentimental. Yates. Yeah, I got your message. You aren't telling me what I'm doing. Yeah. Everyone knows the family funds terrorism. Did you see them? No, they were just greeting. I caught a glimpse of a body bag. That's Does that mean there's a plan A? One where I don't stand a 50-50 chance of getting I mean, you do realise the risk. Not just a pud light, we're talking knee deep, horribly. Of course, Gates came and told them we're solid charge of the tanks. You'd think there was some kind of defense mechanism. Early warning system in place. Yeah, you would, but you'd be wrong. If the pumps malfunction, the tanks overflow. That pretty much sums it up. So, 
pay attention to that pump file. Because we're in the market for an extra orifice. Lightning never strikes twice. Moving. Four decades, I think. I serve something small. myself in these situations all the time. Just... I would need therapy. Duval survives just long enough to retract his statement. A point of providence back. Hi. Huh?
Oh, no. Whoa. He doesn't just need to beat her, he needs to come to Sounds like an unhealthy fixation if you ask me. Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards. You know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Ether brand neurotoxin. Transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. This is a kindness. Goodbye, Agent.
Are you still here? Still clinging on to your self-image. Agent 47, the Apex Predator. Always hiding behind the headlines. Was perfection its own justification? Or a willful distraction? A wall built contract by contract. To shield you from the uncomfortable truth. You're exactly the tool they bred you to be. <laughs> Quite a piece of work you are. How could you possibly function on your own? You never even had a name. Until I gave you one. That's him. Burnwood never ceases to surprise me. You really are a most singular individual. And to think, she wanted me to put you down. Lucky for you, I never throw away anything useful. Prepare the serum. Forgetting's not so bad. You've done it before. What's he doing? Is he still looking at us? I'm afraid so. Poor Sap just won't accept his days are done. Perhaps I should take him out to the woods and set him free. Oh, it's a classic. <laughs> he was a loyal tool. But everything goes the way of the horse and cart eventually. I couldn't agree more. Are you done? The toxins are playing into your fears. Don't let them. Come on. Got to get your head straight. She wants me dead. She has every right to after what we did. But that's not what is really going on. She chose power. In the end, she was just like them. No. She found a way to turn Edward's own cleverness against him. The rest is up to you. I don't know how. You do know. Diana! Coming! Once you dispose of Edward's, I will dismantle Providence from the top down. It will finally be over. All you have to do is embrace the past. find a catchy name for it. 
for when we go commercial, I mean. You figure this thing has commercial applications? Who'd want to have their minds wiped? Not wiped, obviously. But that's just fine-tuning. Okay, right now, the serum erases long and short-term memory banks wholesale. But in a couple of cycles, we'll be able to isolate the effect to individual memories. Imagine if you could pluck out childhood traumas of your breakup.
supposed to be.
Seems I brought this on myself. Well played, Miss Burnwood. Do you really think she'll be able to resist all that power? This is not how people work. She rejects the power, not the responsibility. <laughs> A noble idea. But please join me in the real world. I trust you already know what this is. Why not simply take it? Embrace who you were always meant to be. No, never again. <sighs> well, I had to try. Go on then. Do your thing. At least I die knowing who I am. International finance continues as Milton Fitzpatrick CEO Alexander Fannin joins the president of Hamsden Oil. Why the new sound of Tim Quinn and a bunch of other things just now. It's been a long time. Agent 47. That's not who I am anymore. The pact is done. The past. Death. And yet, here you are. I choose this path because I can. There will always be people like them. So there will always be people like us. No one is untouchable. It's good to be back. 